What up, YouTube? It's Misery. It's Company. In today's video, I want to talk about some of the awesome quality of life changes that came to Diablo Mortal in this most recent update. There's two in particular that I am just loving more than anything in the game right now. Let's get straight to it. So first things first, over here at the Essence Transfer, this is this was a hot topic when it was first introduced, and it's been immensely changed for the better, in my opinion. Let's see where I can go to get out of the way. All right. And that's going to be the loyalty bonus. So now we can very clearly state that there is a... Um, a forgiveness so once you get to 400 at this at turn ins if you haven't unlocked it yet you will guarantee it to be unlocked you can also now change who you're targeting in terms of the class so now you actually have the ability like this is a demon hunter set of pants that i'm trying to unlock and i because i have everything unlocked in my blood knight already so now i can actually farm for other classes essences on my main class which is a perfect time to be able to do this considering the i guess i don't want to say inability to class change but the you know, you, you really don't want to be class changing anymore after the new Eternal Gear has come out because um, you really do want to be mid-maxing those. But all in all, that's a really, really good change. Now, the next change that I want to talk about is going to be um, two things, two more things. But let's go ahead and get, jump into a dungeon. But that's that's going to be the next one. The dungeons are immensely better. You can fly through dungeons now because they have removed all of the dead or downtime that you have in dungeons where like the bosses were invulnerable. Even mini bosses like the butcher, their in, in, invulnerability time is dramatically lower than they ever were previously. So I already did two dungeons. I mean, and I got like the speed run achievement down here, a trophy, excuse me, uh, for doing it. I already think I already collected them but it was way faster and it's it's no longer going to be more of a grind. Like now I, I like dungeons are so much easier. And I love that. that. That's, you know, because we're doing the same dungeons over and over and it is a farm, um, you don't want the farm to be painful. So now that they're immensely easy or that's a huge W in my book. We're going to do a dungeon, but while we're talking about it, the change to these where now every time you salvage, um, it will actually remember everything that you picked previously it's so much faster just to click on a blacksmith and immediately salvage without having to click on these again it's only three clicks or three taps if you're on your phone but every little bit matters when you're trying to really sort of min max the game from a quality of life standpoint um i think those were it in terms of those other two that i wanted to mention the, the essence one's huge the blacksmith is awesome um we didn't get any changes to pets uh we talked about um dungeons as i try to get into one they did say they try to change the dungeon so that it was a little bit easier okay to get into as i say that um but the first two dungeons i joined were actually very 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 fast so let's get straight to it hopefully you don't get straight to the boss because that would be kind of defeat the whole point of this we didn't which is awesome so yeah it's it's just a whole lot easier now to do dungeons so watch when you get to this boss his unkillable phase is is hardly noticeable if not non-existent um and then this one went underground it was unkillable now we died because we're trash apparently oh my god what am i doing with my life anyway I don't, like what i don't even know what mechanic that was that killed me <laughs> but yeah so here we go I also just got done adjusting my Blood Knight build a little bit to be allow for a little bit more just everything, speed and all that. I don't know what that gold thing is on the ground, but anyway. Speed farming is, a, is way more important than it was previously now that we have, um, you know, an actual, I don't want to say competitive mode, but a mode and then this is this is the other part so advance the checkpoint so my teammates aren't here yet so instead of having to just uh, wait for them to come it's gonna pull them to me so you see the second one's here he's not gonna make it very obviously not gonna make it so he gets pulled right to us and we get to keep going it's so nice and some of the cutscenes that were in the dungeons are now also gone um, which is a huge added benefit to the quality of life as well I still get stuck on this portal every once in a while though. <laughs> and again, there's been a lot of bugs and hopefully by the time you see this video, some of the bigger bugs have been addressed. But again, there are some quality of life changes that were pretty good. And, and admittedly, like I, I've, I don't wanna say I'm shitting on the game in terms of the update, but admittedly the updates were very frustrating on day one because of how how many bugs there were right i mean it, it felt like all of the new content was bugged beyond belief um 
Oh, another good quality of life change that they made. Uh, I was very frustrated with PvP towards the end of last season. And now I'm actually not trying to like rip my, my hair out trying to do PvP. Now, given it is kind of hard to tell because it is the season reset, so we're all in bronze again. But the matches I've been in have been pretty balanced because they're taking into account the secondary gear. Now, I in particular really benefit from that because my resonance is what, 3.6? 3.6. But my secondary stats are barely above um, 2k each. So it's pretty low in terms of secondary stats. So I really benefit from having the secondary stats being taken account into it and not just resonance because I don't have good secondary stats. I'm working on it, right? I, it, it's a work in progress, baby, but you know what I mean. So yeah, like these quality life changes. Now this is not, okay, it is skippable. And we jump straight to it. Okay, cool. Love that. Yeah, so even this part right here, let's see how fast, if there's any downtime on it. There's very little, you saw that? Wow, this last phase right here used to take so long because you had a, a such a long pause in between the two. Oh my gosh, all of the dungeons. And look, we just got the trophy for the speed run because we did it in less than five minutes. Holy cow, like that's awesome. That, these are such good changes. I get a salvage, they're already clicked hit salvage it's just everything is faster it, it's like it's it's on purpose now everything is happening with a purpose and that's such a good quality of life change so let me know which of the very specific quality of life changes that you found to be most helpful or most improvement to gameplay if i missed any let me know in the comment section and i will pin it um but yeah guys i'm actually again outside of the massive amount of bugs that we experienced in the update these quality of life changes actually go pretty hard at least in my opinion so let me know what you think in the comment section below guys until next time hope to see you in a video soon